Clay County Sheriff is making a push to get deputies into the county's junior high schools. Right now, student resource officers are only in the high schools. Channel 4 Scott Johnson has spoken with the sheriff and with parents and the school district. He's joining us live now at Orange Park Junior High. Scott? Mayor, here at Orange Park Junior High, they don't have a deputy on staff. And the sheriff pointed out some numbers to me. 319 calls to police for help district-wide this year so far in 2017. We don't know if that's abnormal, but the number that he says he really wanted to focus on is 76 of those calls have been to junior high schools. Right now in Clay County, you will only find deputies wandering the halls in high schools, but not at the junior high level. So Clay's sheriff is pushing to get a federal grant to get them. I think it's a great idea. There's a lot of bullying situations going on, and I think that could help eliminate that. Rhonda and Robert Knudsen welcome this because they pulled their son out of school due to bullying. He was homeschooled for a while, but now they are enrolling him in Green Cove Junior High. I do. I think it uh, adds extra protection in uh, modern day world. You know, so many things are happening uh, to other communities and uh, uh, problems at schools. I like the extra protection, knowing that my child is safe while they're uh, attending class. Sheriff Daryl Daniels tells me he's applying for what's called a federal cops grant and has a good feeling Clay will get the funding. I think we have a need in Clay County. Um, there was a time when we had SROs or school resource officers in the junior high schools as well as the, as well as the high schools and due to budgetary constraints um, the decision was made years ago to pull those SROs from the junior high schools. But that's not to say it's not already there on some level. Bruce Darling and his wife live across the street from Orange Park Junior High. Every morning there's a cop, a policeman that sits there for the whole time that the kids are coming and going. It's so like, they're still kind of out on the periphery watching. Right, they're on the street out here, and once in a while you see them, you know, up here, you know, sometimes two cars. And school superintendent Addison Davis sent me this statement. This partnership will allow the sheriff's office to build positive relationships with our youth, lead as student advocates, and gain access to our students. We're live in Orange Park. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station. Scott, when will we know whether Clay County gets the federal grant money for this? Well, Mary, we'll know in August if we get it. If they do, the officers would be available in October, one for every of the six junior highs in the county and then nine other officers to go out in the community. Mary? All right, Scott Johnson reporting to us live from Clay County. Thank you, Scott.